our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Haitian sensation, Neil Magny. And now with the new season opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go. Early round action. No welterweight in UFC history has spent more hours in this octagon than the Haitian sensation Neil Magny. You gotta admire the new nickname as well. But he's not focused so much on fluff. This is a substantive fighter who is looking to put all his skills together in yet another big spot team. Right, good to see Stephen Wonderboy Thompson back on the proven ground tonight and popping off that jab right out of the shoe. It's his best weapon. I mean, it dictates everything for Stephen Wonderboy Thompson because it tells him when he gets a read and he gets the range on the jab, he starts to throw his kicks. He's a phenomenal fighter, and he has a puzzle that not many people have been able to solve. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry. Lands a double leg takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. It's work. I'm gonna stand this up. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Come on, come on now. You gotta get him back in your guard. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You gotta shrimp. You gotta get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Making all these shots count. Oh, Magny's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Magny. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Right back to the full mount. Oh. Thompson getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Uh, one set uh, for the end of round one. All right, take a seat, buddy. Breathe. Great round. Okay, you're doing great at out positioning on the ground. I want more of that. But this round, I need you to stay a little more active. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round. And there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. All right, round two. Oh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson lands. Beautiful to watch him just measure that shot and land it with such ease. He really shows you the repetitions he has as a lifelong striker. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice take up. Wonderboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. 
gets to the spot, the tie punch. Then he starts to let the knees lock. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Connected with a solid punch right there. Oh, big Another big kick out. Just over three minutes to go now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Magni. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. 15 seconds remain in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh, that's a nice strike. Magni going for the takedown, but unable to land. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jump. Magni's in half guard. Now he's going full mount. Nice positional control here. Oh, Magni's back in full mount. Nicely done. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Three minutes now to go in this one. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. in half court. Great ground and pound by this man. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Watch, watch, watch. 
Way to make that elbow count. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the right, ground right. to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Thompson. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Magny. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. I need you to breathe. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Thompson's in half court. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Magny. Work, I'll stand this up. You need to work. Control the hands. Control the hands. Watch yourself. Control the wrist. Grab the wrist. Grab the wrist. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. And that is how you end a fight. All right, so as many expected, this fight goes the distance, but a lot of action in there, particularly when it comes to his offensive wrestling. I mean, he wrestled at a really high level tonight. He knew that his opponent was going to get back to his feet if he got taken down. But he was so committed to the takedown, to the pressure, to the grind, they say, that he was able to really wear him down and get the victory. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Haitian sensation, Neil Magny! So congratulations to Neil Magny, about as coachable a fighter as we have on this roster. Few men can match his work ethic, and he uses that...